Here's the uh, above view shot here. So we got a, about a quart in the motor already. We're going to fill our sprayer here up with two quarts and then put one more in the motor. It's debating on which was the best spot to do that. I don't know if the. Uh... It seems like just going through the valve cover is kind of the best idea, but honestly, I'm not sure. So, but I, I put it through there at first. I don't know, I, maybe I could have gone through the cam sensor port, but I'm not totally, not totally sure on that. So we got some driven uh, 530 braking oil here. excited to try this um, I'm going to try to find the video of the, the main video I watched to get this idea it might have cost like 20 25 bucks it really wasn't if it works wouldn't that bad of a deal and I'm not even totally sure it's super necessary uh, you know but with the cash that I've gotten involved in this it doesn't seem like a bad idea honestly so, give it a try, see what it does. Alright, so we get that. Make sure we don't have any fuzz or anything on here. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and put one more quart. Yeah, nice. And go ahead and put one more quart here in the motor. Hopefully, it doesn't make it too heavy. Bring time to bring this life. We don't have the seals on here yet, so once we get this all done, we'll put them on officially. I just want to be able to pull the valve covers off real quick, make sure everything is uh, has pumped up through the valve train. So doing it this side, we might kind of discount the accuracy, but uh, we're gonna give it a try. We'll see how long the uh, painted covers do, but at least for right now, it looks real nice and wasn't very expensive. One thing I might do also is spray paint the, uh, you know, power steering alternator bracket. That would kind of look nice if we did that. Once again, not sure how long it would last, but it might be worth trying. Okay, so next. Get a little light over here. Next, we'll go ahead and pull our oil galley plug here. That baby was in there. spot need a 17 fitting in here we'll put some uh, silicone spray on the thread I think we need to go in real tight with it just to make it fit this fit a 17 a millimeter. So I'm going to kind of 
peek in here. See what's going on. Hey, how you doing? See some see some oil in there, so that's good. Remember we had already uh um you know primed our oil it really helps out. Just pour some in there, okay, until it tops off. That's as times we're gonna put that, so let's like I said I'm kind of I played with this put it together one night a couple weeks ago I'm kind of interested to uh, how it's gonna work so we put a cut in this hose here <clears throat> just so we can get on all right so that's got on there we're all threaded here some more light here, don't I? There we go. Uh, so, looks like we got a good seal going here, going here. I'm going to go ahead and pump it up. We've got our valve closed here. See, we got plenty of hose. Probably didn't even need uh, uh, that much, honestly. All right. Pump it up. Air bubble here. Get the uh, crank. We got our balancer off, or the uh, crank housing off. And this is another thing: was that while we're uh, um, pumping it in, slowly rotate if we can the uh, assembly. Oh, peeking out. everything sealed here so I'm going to go ahead and just let it pump right up into here you can see it kind of creeping up slowly so we're just going to keep pumping until it's right here Got some pressure to it. Slowly rotate. Now I'm going to go ahead and pump it up some more. Synchronized. Synchronized fail. Air bubbles. Just keep pressure rolling up. And then once we're out of oil, we'll just take a look inside the valve covers here and see if it works. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Did I not? I got a major. Whoa! Okay, well it's coming out. Where's it coming out? Okay, well it's coming out. That's good. I think, I think it came out the cam sensor. Yeah, I think that's, I thought I had a bad seal. We're going to have to pull everything apart, which, which could be. Let's pull this off. Where's it coming out of? Yeah, I don't have the cam. Oh, it's coming out the oil pressure. Oil pressure sensor. Duh. Okay, that's where it was. Right, now we're going to need to get some... Now we're going to need some more oil. All right, so, yeah, yeah. That's something. You do kind of need to make sure all the sensors are in. I hadn't done that. My bad. So, yeah, I think it pulled out right here. Um, so, but in essence, I think, 
I think the point is, is that it was working. Yeah, see, it's just pumping it out. So, yeah, if I had just sealed that, we would have been good. Let me go ahead and pause you just a minute here, and I'm going to get that sensor just plug it in right there. All right, so we've got the oil pressure there. You know, I just, I hadn't put it on yet. Uh, I just wasn't thinking. Like I said, I'm still learning a bunch here. Uh, but I didn't want to put this on because I wasn't going to have it installed before I put the motor in the vehicle because I don't want to break it off, you know, trying to get it in there. So I just had it loose. I don't think it was coming from the cam sensor. I think it was coming right here from the, uh, you can see it draining all the way down there. A lot of good driven oil on the ground. At least messy wise anyway. So, anywho. So we got that blocked off. Let's see if we can go ahead and finish without making a mess. Um, and see. Well, real quick, let me go ahead and take the valve cover off here. Still holding pressure. I might just have a little bit too much pressure potentially. Let's see. Uh, well, I've got some oil up here in the top corner right here. So that's good. Let's go ahead and plug it back in. And, um, oh, I hear some noise up there. Can you see? All right. Get you a little closer there. There we go. Let's see what. Uh, maybe I should put you over here, actually. So, anyways, we got our, got our port uh, blocked off there. I don't think it was coming from the cam sensor. I don't think that's what it was. Let's go ahead and pump up our pressure again, actually. Got a little relief there, thankfully. Yeah, it's not quite. There's a little bit here in this corner. It could just be the weird angle too, and plus most of it. And we got some up here. So I think it's, you know, I think it's making its way. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Come up there. Come up there. So let's keep working at. Make sure. It's uh, very interesting, I tell you. Nothing like learning something new. Let's check what we're going to take. Thankfully the wind's died down a little bit too. So we got oil puddling here, here, here. Ah, oh, look at that! Oh, that is too cool. That is too cool. And nice dripping off there. Ah, oh, man, that's sweet, guys. I'm impressed. go grab bear real quick because he want to see that all right be right back so we got bear kind of showing him what we're what we're doing here really impressed with this still so it, it's just amazing how it works I need to have this pressure sensor in yeah because with it out of in it just pumped all the pressure and drained look at that oh wow all that nice oil on the ground yeah I have to go grab some more but anyway see those are all the little oil uh -huh. squirters yeah so watch this so we got it primed up mm -hmm. and I got the pressure off yeah. And so the oil starts squirting. See, oh, look at wow, that. That's isn't cool. that too cool? That's so neat. And then you rotate this uh -huh. and see, watch the lifters run. Yeah. And then you keep. No. Nope. Oh, you don't do that. But anyways. And you can just rotate them. Yeah. And then the oil. See, look at it. Just yeah. squirting up there at the top. That's awesome. Isn't that cool? And this, so this is why you definitely want to do that and see it. And yeah. it, when I first pulled the valve cover off, yeah. it might well, have the mess and not uh -huh. checked. So only this one had started squirting. Uh -huh. So now it's moved all the way along this way. Cool. We'll leave it there for a second while it keeps pumping in. Yeah. Now I can put the covers on. Because yeah. we've got uh, we got we got the oil there when you need it. It's like oh, oh nice. Man. I'm glad that the uh, it's you gotta find that video. Yeah. You know, for twenty five bucks maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel so bad having that wool out there. Oil, yeah, but that's cool. Cool. So theoretically, this side should be exactly the same, or it might, you know, take a little bit longer. Yeah. 
to uh, get it there. But you know, just having that one fitting uh -huh. really made a difference. <laughs> so now, with this basically wrapped up, mm -hmm. you know, I got oil, quarter oil left to put in there. Yep. Um, but now it's basically ready uh -huh. uh, to pull off the stand once we have that out. Get my motor mounts, and yeah. it's basically ready to go in. Cool. So and this will help with wear and tear on mm -hmm. the startup. We got the oil filter primed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. It's over to you. That is so cool. Sweet. Ah. Now, I, I poured some in this mm -hmm. way for it, so the bottom end would be getting some oil. Yeah. But see all the squirters just shh, shh, yep. shot in correctly. <laughs> that is so cool. So cool. That is awesome. So cool. Awesome. We learned something new today. So cool. That's neat. Yeah. That is neat.